hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's Eki if it's the first time seeing me you are welcome today I'm going to be showing you how I keep my makeup brushes or tools clean and free from bacteria and jam so if you want to see that stay tuned because we're starting right away all right guys I use this moco isoprofil alcohol to disinfect my brushes and keep them free from germs and bacteria and as well clean them so you can use any brush cleaner at all in the market but let it have some level or some percentage of alcohol inside because the alcohol will help to kill every germs and bacteria that must have breed on your brushes so you would not want to use any brush cleaner that, that does not have alcohol okay so this particular one the moco has 99.87% alcohol so you see that this is very very high and it is going to take up every germs and bacteria that must have breed on your brushes so your, your skin is so precious you are supposed to use clean brushes and I hope you've not been using dirty brushes for your skin because this is not hygienic at all okay let me tell you something I I'm guilty like I was guilty of this particular act you know then my makeup brushes before I became a makeup actress actually I just use my wipes then clean my brush after I'm done doing my makeup I just use my wipes and clean the product of the body the reason was that I don't want my makeup bag to get dirty that was the reason I was cleaning it but I didn't really know that I was supposed to clean the product on the brush properly so so that germs and bacteria will not breed on it but yeah we are today so i'm sharing my own parts of the you know with you so i hope as you're watching this video right now you will start cleaning your makeup brushes if you've not done that before if you're guilty of what i'm saying please do not do that anymore your skin is way so precious that it brushes okay okay so this does not have a stopper what I normally do is to turn it into a container that have a stopper so I'm going to be using this bottle here this is a setting spray that I I finished using so I kept this bottle for this reason so I'll be turning half of this alcohol inside of this Ooh, are you seeing that okay so I use this so that you see that it has a spritz stopper so definitely this is what you need so that you spritz it on your brush and clean next thing I use this paper towel this is a kitchen paper towel so I just cut this like this and then I fold this into two equal half or equal parts so that I'll use this in cleaning my brushes next my dirty brushes so I'm going to disinfect this brush right now and also keep it clean for a fresh makeup so I take my alcohol base cleaner so I spritz like this you want to spritz inside so that the bristles inside as well will the spirits will touch it or the alcohol will touch so I use my paper towel like this and just swell the brush on top of this paper towel just like so so you you swell these brushes around this paper towel until it is clean like you see that these bristles up here is white 
that is when you know that okay your brushes is ready for use and you know what this alcohol dries up almost immediately if you're doing makeup on other people trust me you will love this because if you have a client that you're working on already and then somebody else is waiting for you you definitely need this so that you clean your brush and use definitely you can use a dirty brush on some other person so you need this so you see that the brush is beginning to come alive I turn this side because here is filled with the products and then I just turn over to this side to be sure that what I'm cleaning is actually working so I'm going back into that alcohol to spritz again on it and then I'm turning over to this side that is still clean and I'm doing the same thing you repeat this process on all of the brushes I use circular motion because this brush is round head brush but if there's another pattern I follow the pattern in cleaning the brush because you don't want to lose the bristles of your brushes the idea is to Clean the brush, disinfect it from bacteria and germs, and not to lose your brush bristles. Okay, the bristles is beginning to look good. I repeat this process as many times as possible. I took a new paper towel, a cleaner one. I will be sure that this bristles is properly clean. So you notice that it's not as dirty as the previous one. You have to get a paper towel that is fluffy and firm so that when you're swelling it around or you're swelling it around the paper towel, it will not transfer to your bristle. Voila! We are done with this. So I'm going to be repeating the same process with all of the other tools. Yes, guys, these are the brushes that I just clean and disinfect from bacteria and germs with my Moco alcohol. So, you see that these brushes are super, super clean. There is no bacteria that can breed on this right now because it's super clean so this is one of the ways i use in keeping my makeup tools clean and free from bacteria and germs if you want to see the other method come with me okay guys these are the brushes that i'll be cleaning for you to see i'm going to be cleaning all of these brushes so you see how i keep my brushes or tools clean for a new makeup okay so first of all, I'll be showing you the things that uh, you need to, that will aid in keeping your brushes clean. First, you need a running water, just like so. And then the next thing you'll be needing is a cleaning mat, just like this. I use this mat to swell my brushes around it, just to help my brushes more to be clean next thing you'll be needing is a toilet soap like this i've been using this one to clean my brushes so you can use any soap at all that you feel is good for you i'll be taking my brushes just like this and 
soak the bristles in the running water you want to soak the bristles so that when you are swelling it on top of your soap just like this the soap will get in between the bristles so this is what i do i swell my brush around the soap just like so you see that it's foaming already it has already produced lather so it is ready to be clean and then i take my mat just like so so i'm earning the water just to help this mat stick properly in my sink so i stick it there the next thing i do i swell this around it this just help the bristles to be more cleaner i prefer using a mat like this to swell my brushes around because it tends to help it clean even inside of the brushes you see that inside is clean nothing is left and the next thing i do is to go over it in the running water you can also go around it like so just to make sure that it is properly cleaned like you rinse it properly so i just use my hand to squeeze out the water just to be sure that there is no so much water i still need to rinse this because i just noticed there are still some foam the next thing i do is to use my toy to squeeze out the water from the bristles there is no water in the bristles anymore but it's still damp so you need to still dry this so i'm just going to be dropping it right here i'll be repeating the same process in all of the tools so i'm swelling that here make sure you use a very gentle and light hand in swelling this because if you are putting pressure on the brush you might remove the bristles these bristles are very soft and tender so the ones here like you need to treat it like a baby don't soak your brushes wash them when you are ready to wash because if you soak them you'll be losing your bristles they'll start going off the hand handle and also the handle will start pulling by itself because it's soaked i'm repeating the same process and you can do something like this just to take off the water and then go over with your clean towel it helps the tools or the brushes to dry up on time you want to do makeup on yourself maybe in the next two three hours if you do this this will help it to dry up quickly swelling it over the mat help even inside of the bristles to be clean if you i don't know if you're noticing there is nothing like product remaining inside of these bristles For angle brushes like this, I don't swell them like this. When it comes to the angle ones like this, I do something like this. I'm just following the way the brushes is made so I will not lose my bristles. clean both of them together because they are of the same size and shape so i didn't want to be doing that one after the other as you can see they are the same size the same shape okay though this one is a bit smaller than this you see the way i'm patting this over the soap i'm not swelling it over the soap because this is a flat brush
this is actually not difficult it's like the simplest tool to wash So guys, these are the brushes that I just finished cleaning. Most of them are even dried up like this ones because I use the towel to to dry them up before I even place them here. So you can decide to put this under the sun. You can just leave it right where it is just like so and trust me, they are all going to dry up. That is it for this video guys these are the two ways or method i use in keeping my makeup tools clean and free from bacteria and germs if you like this video give it a thumbs up share with friends leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe it's free right down here and also ring the bell so you don't miss new videos so stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys this is a simple way of keeping my brushes clean and free from germs let me know your thoughts about this at the comment section if you you'll be doing this or if you're already doing this let me know at the comment section please guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and also don't forget to share ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos